COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by a virus known as SARS coronavirus 2. This disease has been classified as a global pandemic. In this video, WikiHow will interview expert virologist Dr. Shannon Bennett to learn about the properties of this virus and how it affects your body. I'm Dr. Shannon Bennett at the California Academy of Sciences, where I'm Chief of Science and Dean of Science and Research Collections. I'm also an Associate Curator of Microbiology with a specialty in viruses and an expert on studying how infectious diseases jump from animals to humans. Part 1. Virus Basics What is a virus? So a virus is a very small particle of genetic material packaged in a capsule that's a protein-based capsule. The enveloped viruses, which SARS-Coronavirus-2 is one of, there's a membrane around that capsule that's made up of fatty elements. And then sticking outside of that envelope of fatty elements are proteins. And these proteins are critical for how the virus gets into the host. So the one thing about a virus is that it cannot copy itself without being inside of a host cell. How does a virus come into contact with a host cell? The host cell is covered with receptors, which are almost uh, like a lock and the virus protein is like a key. And that bond between the key of the virus and the lock of the host cell is very specific and highly evolved in some cases to make sure that the virus gets into only certain kinds of host cells. With this coronavirus, the key is called the spike protein and it binds to the host cell receptor, the lock, Specifically, the bind is to host respiratory cells, and the receptor is called ACE2. So once the virus makes that lock and key relationship with the host cell, it can enter into the host cell and do its thing. How does the virus spread? Viruses spread between hosts in ways that are basically determined by the kinds of cells that they infect when they infect a host. So for example, viruses that infect respiratory cells like SARS coronavirus 2 are spread through the product of our respiration system. So coughing and sneezing and the droplets that we produce from deep in our lungs or even in our upper respiratory tract are key elements for how this virus spreads between people. Part two, properties of COVID-19. How does COVID-19 affect the body? When the human body is first infected, we develop an innate immune response. One of the primary defense mechanisms that our body elicits is fever. 88% of infectious cases that develop symptoms have fever. They also develop dry cough, fatigue, and ultimately can progress to these severe viral pneumonia type symptoms. According to the CDC, symptoms may also include chills, repeated shaking with chills, muscle pain, headache, sore throat, and loss of taste or smell. What is the reproductive number of a virus? The reproductive number of a pathogen is how we measure how infectious it is. It can be seen as how many new infections does a single infected person give rise to. So if the reproductive number is one, that means every infected individual can potentially infect one other person. If the reproductive number is less than one, eventually the disease will die out. If the reproductive number is greater than one, the disease grows exponentially. So in the case of SARS coronavirus 2, the reproductive number is being estimated on average at about 2.5. And that means that every single individual that's infected can potentially infect two and a half on average new people. So this is a very contagious virus and it's growing exponentially. What is an incubation period of a virus? The incubation period of a virus is the time between when a person is exposed and infected to when they develop symptoms. 
And the challenge with this coronavirus is that period is highly variable. It seems to span anywhere from one to 14 days. In some cases, the incubation period is the time prior to symptoms when the viruses are not being efficiently spread from person to person. That is not the case with COVID-19. People that are still incubating the virus prior to developing symptoms can infect other people. What does it mean to be asymptomatic? What's very tricky about this virus is that many people don't develop symptoms, or if they do, they're very mild and may even go unnoticed. So we call those infections asymptomatic. SARS coronavirus 2 has a high reproductive number and a long incubation period. Even if you do not feel sick, you may still be able to transmit the virus to other people during the incubation period or as an asymptomatic carrier of the virus. Part 3. Review. A virus is an infectious agent made up of genetic material packaged in a protein capsule. Viruses can only multiply if they successfully infect host cells. The protein of a virus is like a key, and the host cell is like a lock. Every virus attaches to specific hosts based on the unique formation of the lock and the key. COVID-19 is a virus that attaches efficiently to respiratory cells entering the body primarily through respiratory tissue, such as through our nose or mouth. To stay healthy and prevent the spread of the virus, you should practice social distancing, wash your hands thoroughly and frequently, and disinfect surfaces.